Monday, May 17th. Aaron and I are back in the flats to try to fill my fourth season tag here. We've got today and tomorrow. Aaron's back on the road Wednesday, so I'm going to give her hell for a couple days and see if we can't knock a bird down. We're going to get aggressive. We're going to try the roost setups and all that, and then we're going to run a gun, kill a bird. Hopefully before 9 o'clock this morning. It's about 6.20, 6.30, something like that. We had a group of nine jakes come over the rise and kind of work this plowing past us. The toms were still gobbling a figure, probably 150 yards behind them. They still haven't come over the hill. We're gonna try to hang out for another half hour or so because it's been about usually around 7.15 when we've been seeing them strutting out here, so I think they're probably still slowly working this way. They're just guessing they're with a bunch of hens. So I'll hang out and see what happens here. I don't know. They haven't gobbled for probably 15 or 20 minutes now, but I know they're right over this rise. driving around here for a little bit we just came past this field out here from the road we could see a look like strutter in the back I don't know if he's by himself or if there's other birds we couldn't see but we're gonna do the first dome attempt of the year go around this corner I don't know if we'll be able to sneak up the field edgeways before we pop out or what but uh, we haven't hunted this at all this spring there hasn't been birds in here yet we've been waiting we've been seeing them to the south about a mile we figured eventually they'd show up up in here and this is the first first time we've seen them out in this field this year
He's hot. <laughs> Another close call. That's a bird we've been chasing all spring, Osama. Had the dome on, had him coming to us, and he got to about 80. And all of a sudden, decided he wasn't interested. Kind of worked off, and that was that, so. <sighs> I'm so sick of that bird. Rolling on, about three o'clock. We're heading back out. Took a few hours off. But it's time to get back after him. So we're gonna go probably fill up with gas and start doing some laps. See what we can find. Got a bird spotted. It's Osama. <laughs> First time we've seen him back here in this block for a couple days now. But he's doing exactly what he was doing for a long time. He's got a couple hens with him. They're working south in this field. We're gonna backdoor him and try to pop out in front of him. See what happens. to say we got beat again. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know. We got in the field with him. He had five hens, I think. And just kept kept himself between me and the hens for the most part. Except for the one hen. She came to like 20 yards, but he just kept like a 70 yard gap between him and I and I don't know. I hadn't been out there for an hour and a half. Getting pretty, pretty pissed off at this bird, to say the least. It's never good when you're tearing down the setup. Quarter after five. But there is nothing to have one in here. So we're gonna go find one that's got one, hopefully. We just stopped here. We literally drove down the road probably two miles. Check another spot, we opened the door and one hammer up in these woods, so we're kinda scrambling. We're gonna try to get up here in the woods and see if we can Make a play on them.
sounds like he's further. Let's try to bump closer. Bump on the head. Just throw it on your head. So I've got it when we get up here. Dude, wait till you see the hooks on them. Yeah. They're big. <clears throat> well, here we are, the final, final day of the fourth week here in Wisconsin. JP and I ran around all day yesterday and kind of had a tough go at it. And it started out pretty rough again this morning. We set up and never heard a bo uh, never heard a gobble off the roost. We had another spot we wanted to get to and check, which was only a couple miles away. And we rolled down the road and pulled off the side of the vehicles. And I don't, we didn't even get out. We just put our windows down and uh, we no more than parked. And we heard a bird gobbling up in the timber here. So we uh, moved quick, loaded the gun, grabbed the dome, and there's a snowmobile trail that runs through this timber. So we kind of snuck down the road and at first he was gobbling. It sounded like he wanted to go south and move away from us. But I think once we got inside 125 yards or so, we turned him and he came quick as you've seen. Uh, I just threw JP up on a tree and I laid flat right in the middle of the snowmobile trail and he came around the corner and I shot him at about 40 yards. But it uh, feels good to knock one down here today, especially after getting our ass kicked all day yesterday. Uh, just a beautiful time, beautiful morning in the woods, and uh, great hunt. It's heavier than what you think. 25, 23. 24. 24. Not ah. big enough. <laughs> Look at them spurt. And JP's still got the lead with 22.